In the last episode, we uh, finished the tutorials and learned about greed and all that stuff. So, uh, we are now prepared to dive into the game. So, let's once more wake up the giant barren wasteland and let's play Ruse. So, we'll go for a new game. We'll go for the era mode. We don't do a uh, free play because we will not unlock things that way. And uh, we already did the beginning, so uh, we don't need that. Again, there are modes uh, available. You kind of have to start with 30 minutes because uh, we don't have that much stuff to, to go with. I can show you that. Uh, unlocks. We are here. All this stuff unlocks things for us. So every time we get one of those achievements, which happens only at the end of the game, you get another thing to, to use. Like, do you see that? Those are the things we have available right now. For example, tomatoes and uh, pineapples and all that stuff. Uh, various animals. And those are the projects we have not yet finished, I think. Are the projects that humans will start. So yeah, all those achievements like uh, finish an era with a swamp village which has 100 prosperity and all that. It's not that difficult. Some of them are. Uh, I think though, well, those are easy. But those are a bit more specific, and you kind of get a... We'll look into that later. Anyway, you kind of need to have played, like, at least two or three, probably more 30-minute games before it's even really worth getting into a 60 or 120-minute game. Because otherwise it's just... Uh, it's just not working. Uh, you'd not get very far. Because the later projects are very expensive. Anyway, we'll dive into a new game. And let's just start. Now the thing is, unlike the tutorials, we have a very real time limit. I think in the tutorial it was set to like 99 hours, which is essentially unlimited. I mean, if you need 100 hours for the tutorial, then you kind of didn't play the game. Or you didn't play it right, and you should really pay attention to the uh, notifications. Anyway, yeah, sometimes it's better to just destroy a village. However, we will try to keep or to, to not do that this time. Okay, so those are just some uh, uh, some some hints you can do, some suggestions. We can go for pretty much any uh, achievement. Okay, but we'll go with. Uh, Whatever we can come up with here. Okay, now we want to make use of our time as efficiently as possible, so the, f the, the probably easiest way to do that is by going for a, a desert village, because we only need one giant to do his thing before we can have a desert village. Let's just drop some precious minerals right over here. And we're ready for our first nomad. Should also have a countdown somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. This is the uh, era countdown, and there's our nomad. There is the man of the hour. But let's select this fellow here. We need 13 bits of space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think that should do. Okay, so this village will... Uh, oh, they already started their trade post challenge. Uh, for each mineral... Okay, 15 wealth for each mineral. They should have one in use. What's... It's control. I was looking for the key there. For some reason it wasn't showing. So we have 25 wealth in use already. That means if I give them one more mineral, they should be there. Right now it's growing safe and fast, which means they will not de develop greed. However, I could give them exotic animals, and I will give them exotic animals. Because, well, I have my reasons. Uh, mostly because I want this to uh, keep growing kinda slow. Okay, that was a bit too slow. 
Um, but my real point is I wanted this to uh, happen. Okay, why does it show the hydrated bits? Okay, anyway. Let's get ready for the next nomad, because you can see he's already waiting here. A nomad is roaming the planet ready to settle. So let's give him something to settle on. Have that there. And also let's let's make a fishing village. We need two, three. Okay, those guys have six spaces, so we can make that happen here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's enough space for another village. Uh, we'll also need a fruit plant over here. I kind of want it to be closer to the sea than to the other village, so this will do. Uh, control. Okay, they're reasonably close to that. Let's give them some more exotic animals. That should put them to the uh, thing. Okay, these guys want minerals as well. Uh, the first projects are usually easy to accomplish, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, so these will eventually come to that level we need. Okay, I want this to become a forest w village as, ve uh, as well. Ah, can't talk. And this will be a swamp. And uh, we'll make this a bit smaller again. Two, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. That's good. We'll just go here and we'll we'll have a bit of forest here. It, it's gonna be fine. There'll be a small overlap, but there's nothing I can do about that. I usually try to go with uh, two villages of each uh, kind of na uh, nationality. And by the way, those three uh, achievements here are things that we can do. We don't have to. They're just kind of suggestions. Okay, those guys need more wealth and tech. There you go, see it? It's Sprouts Forest. Okay, now you create swamp. Let's actually leave a yeah, let's leave one forest there. Uh, the ocean will not be uh, overridden by the uh, swamp, by the way. Also make some herbs happen. Italy over here. You can control on which side of the uh, thing of the uh, resource village spawns because they all al they always need I think four spaces or, or six spaces, so they can only really settle here. Okay, you put some resources there. Uh, you oh we have fruits there. Uh, by the way, you see those, uh, I hope you can see those, those shiny bits here. You can even see some arrows there. Those are randomly blessed areas that have uh, a good chance of producing a better thing. Also, it seems I forgot to finish this. Uh, you can sometimes get an upgraded object from those. Or upgraded yeah, thing. Okay, we got a desert ambassador. Those will give us uh, different aspects. I think we've learned about those already. Uh, you can see what they will learn, and uh, I think for a start, I often go with the uh, predator aspect because it allows us to give danger to animals. I, I also like to keep those uh, notifications around so I can plan later on. So, where's my swamp giant? Swamp giant, there you are. Do I do I have two forest villages? Okay. And I guess you can make some of that happen. Let's put them here. That should space out our villages somewhat evenly. No, let's let's put them here. 
Okay. Now all you have to do is wait for those to be settled. It's not gonna be, it shouldn't take too long. And we still have one ambassador, so... We can also zoom out. So this is the planet right now. It doesn't look very uh, dry and barren. Okay, so I want you to go there. I want you to pick that up. And once this has happened, I want you to do the Aurora to here. This should go around the entire planet. I could see it for a moment. I hope you could. I think it happened. Yeah, it did. So this should have sped up this giant a bit. Just a bit. Not too much. Okay, let's see. We need more minerals here. Rock giant. Do more minerals here. Okay. By the way, we, we get different minerals depending on which uh, landscape we're using them on. We'll probably see that here. <laughs> I'm also trying to uh, really pay attention to my countdown this time because I kind of want this episode to be uh, uh, somewhat evenly spaced. So, okay, it won't be uh, perfectly uh, split in half, but I don't want uh, like 2010 of the actual game in there. Or something worth like uh, 25, 5 minutes. Okay, a uh, new place has settled. I should not forget to... Uh, oh wow, we're two units short, really. Oh no, we're not. Uh, okay, we can't give it to the Swamp Giant. Also, we already have this. We also got a Steam Achievement for that. I don't know why. I think we shouldn't get that. I, sh I think I should have <laughs> gotten that already. Anyway. Uh, food and danger, which is pretty great. Well, the minerals is also not bad. Uh, you know what? We'll give it to the ocean giant. What aspects do you have? A swamp and uh, that. Actually, no. Actually, yes. Uh, Monsoon is a fairly useful ability. It allows us to... Uh, spawn those those upgrade -y tiles there so uh, that's gonna be fun and what I usually do is once a challenge starts we can all actually zoom there right now so this will let us a swamp ambassador and we need a lot of tech which is pretty easy uh, where's my okay everybody else can go here I usually try to get all my giants to the uh, village that I'm currently building on, or building in, rather. Okay, so we need tomatoes, salt, or marshmallow. What is this? This is marble, which is not salt. Can we make it salt? We could make it salt if we had a lesser crystal aspect. The lesser crystal aspect is... I think it's the ocean giant. Yep, we can't do that. So we cannot make salt happen right now. Not before everybody else had his ambassadors, so not until the uh, forest and the uh, rock giant had their ambassadors as well. Which means we'll have to go with uh, tomatoes or with general plants. Let's do plants. Like that. Uh, one advantage of those uh, food plants is that we don't add too much in the, in the way of technology. If we made a technology plant, like a uh, those, uh, we might have added too much tech for the village to handle, so they would have become greedy quite fast. Uh, that way we can kind of space it out. And that's something you have to consider as well. You have, If you go, especially with the later pro projects, if you, let's say they want 100 of a resource and they have 10 and you give them that in one go, then they will become greedy in no time, probably before they even finish a project, and then you have a problem. I also don't know why they had to make this uh, prosperity counter so big. I mean, it's kind of a small number, so... I'm not sure why it needs this this, this amount of uh, screen real estate to function, really. 
Okay. Now. We could use that and just upgrade it. Do we have a lesser leaf aspect? I have a lesser leaf aspect. Let's do that. So, if this becomes a tomato... Oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Uh, what we need is this and a predator aspect right now. You see, they will become greedy. Now they will not because there is danger. Okay. Plus wealth and plus danger if it's next to a mineral. We need a mineral here. Let's actually make it a wealth mineral. And I will just destroy this, uh, this plant because I don't want those guys to become greedy. There we go. They will not be greedy, however, they will also will not have uh, Oh, I just created the next problem. Uh, this is bad. This is... Now we're in the yellow area. That means the, the greed of this village is not growing because they are kind of too busy fighting off lizards. Which means we can go nuts. I can just give them more advanced minerals and essentially bump the village up. Uh, this will only work to a certain degree. If the village grows too far, we'll be... Uh, or the danger will drop into this area again and the degree will level uh, will grow because there is no threat to the village or there's not sufficient threat to the village uh, that's, that's just a thing you don't think about starting a war with your neighbor if you have a tyrannosaurus rex rampaging in your backyard you, you think about killing that first and there goes the uh, countdown so i'm gonna break off the episode right here i'm actually gonna pause it so you don't miss anything and I'll see you next time. Bye.